Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. It's going to be a short video because lucky the dog thinks he has to go outside. But anyway, preparing parts for brazing. Going to braze carbide to these parts today. Preparing them for brazing. And you can see that this part is two colors. And it's two colors because this part is rusty. Okay? These came in rusty. Brazing to rust is like painting to rust. It sticks to the rust, but the rust doesn't stick to the steel. So you want to braze to nice shiny metal. The other thing these parts had, they were done with a mill, and there were lips. There were lips on the three edges. Not not in the same place on all of them, but there were lips a few thousandths high. Definitely something you could feel on all three edges. You want to clean those up because you want the braze alloy. You want your maximum bonding area. If you have three lips, then you're going to get a thicker braze joint, which is in the middle, which is a weaker braze joint. In this case, these are, are used to, to push. To, they, they get underneath ceramic tiles on concrete floors and pop the tiles up. They hit, they hit chunks of concrete. They hit rebar. They hit who knows what. So they've got to be, they've got to be strong. So in this case, we just went over and I used a little Dremel to knock the three edges down. You can theoretically go with absolutely flat and even. That's kind of hard to hit, so I went with just a slight bevel all the way around, which still leaves me 99% of the bonding area, more than enough. Now, what I'll do is, once I've got them clean and the edges knocked down, I am going to spray them with the Easy Off Oven Cleaner, uh, rinse them, dry them immediately, and then go to brace. That will give me the maximum brace joint strength. That is it. Have a good day. Hope you're playing in your shop too. Bye.